Now, when people all over the world have been hit hard by the economic shock of COVID-19, it seems more pressing than ever to ask, are the right people receiving the benefits of government support? In our latest study, we investigate how well the electricity subsidies are working for the poor in India. In rural areas, the poorest 40% households received only 25% of total government electricity subsidies, while the richest 40% households received 61%. Similarly, in urban areas, the poorest 40% only received 25% of total subsidies, while the richest 40% received 60% of the subsidies. Since wealthier households can afford to consume more, they capture a larger share of the benefits. The unfair distribution of energy subsidies is a pervasive problem internationally. Our study of Charkhan could represent a larger trend in India as a whole. The lack of good data is a major knowledge gap. We recommend that in the short term, the state electricity departments in India should act cautiously as the COVID-19 crisis has severely impacted households across the country. Subsidy reforms can free up resources to help, but only if they're well designed. Map the knowledge gap with a dedicated research effort to understand who benefits from electricity subsidies. And in the medium term, as India begins to recover economically from COVID-19, state governments should test strategies to understand which intervention can best target subsidies without compromising access and affordability. Reform electricity tariffs so that subsidies go down for the richer, higher consumption households. This could also create savings, enabling and increasing the magnitude of support to the poorest households. Lastly, track progress. This comes should work together with state government agencies that track poverty to maintain accurate registries of the poorest households.